In Jainism, a Tirthankara Sanskrit, Tirthankara, English, literally a Ford maker is a savior and spiritual teacher of the Dharma righteous path. The word Tirthankara signifies the founder of a Tirtha, which is a fordable passage across the sea of interminable births and deaths, the samsara. According to Jains, a Tirthankara is a rare individual who has conquered the samsara, the cycle of death and rebirth, on their own, and made a path for others to follow. After understanding the true nature of the self or soul, the Tirthankara attains Kavala Jnana omniscience, and the first Tirthankara refounds Jainism. Tirthankara provides a bridge for others to follow the new teacher from samsara to moksha liberation. .The Tirthankara Malinatha is believed to be a woman named Mali Bai by Svetambara Jains while the Digambara sect believes all 24 Tirthankara to be men including Malinatha. Digambara tradition believes a woman can reach to the 16th heaven and can attain liberation only being reborn as a man. In Jain cosmology, the wheel of time is divided in two halves, Utsarpini or ascending time cycle and Avasarpini, the descending time cycle said to be current now. In each half of the cosmic time cycle, exactly 24 Tirthankaras grace this part of the universe. There have been an infinite number of Tirthankaras in the past time periods. The first Tirthankara in this present time cycle was Rishabhanatha, who is credited for formulating and organizing humans to live in a society harmoniously. The 24th and last Tirthankara of present half cycle was Mahavira 599 BC. History records the existence of Mahavira and his predecessor, Parshvanath, the 23rd Tirthankara. A Tirthankara organizes the Sangha, a fourfold order of male and female monastics, Sravakas male followers and Sravikas female followers. .The Tirthankara's teachings form the basis for the Jain canons. The inner knowledge of Tirthankara is believed to be perfect and identical in every respect and their teachings do not contradict one another. However, the degree of elaboration varies according to the spiritual advancement and purity of the society during their period of leadership. The higher the spiritual advancement and purity of mind of the society, the lower the elaboration required. While Tirthankaras are documented and revered by Jains, their grace is said to be available to all living beings, regardless of religious orientation. Tirthankaras are arahants who, after attaining Kevalajnana pure infinite knowledge, preach the true Dharma. An arahant is also called jina victor, that is one who has conquered inner enemies such as anger, attachment, pride, and greed. They dwell exclusively within the realm of their soul, and are entirely free of kashayas, inner passions, and personal desires. As a result of this, unlimited siddhas, or spiritual powers, are readily available to them, which they use exclusively for the spiritual elevation of living beings. Through darsana, divine vision, and deshna, divine speech, they help others in attaining kevalajnana, and moksha final liberation to anyone seeking it sincerely. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning The word Tirthankara signifies the founder of a Tirtha which means affordable passage across the sea of interminable births and deaths called samsara. .Tirthankaras are variously called "...teaching gods", "...ford makers", "...crossing makers", and "...makers of the river crossing". Topic. 
Tirthankara Nam Karma Jain texts propound that a special type of karma, the Tirthankara Nama Karma, raises a soul to the supreme status of a Tirthankara. Tattvartha Sutra, a major Jain text, lists down sixteen observances which lead to the banda bondage of this karma. Purity of right faith Reverence Observance of vows and supplementary vows without transgressions Ceaseless pursuit of knowledge Perpetual fear of the cycle of existence Giving gifts charity. Practicing austerities according to one's capacity Removal of obstacles that threaten the equanimity of ascetics Serving the meritorious by warding off evil or suffering Devotion to omniscient lords, chief preceptors, preceptors, and the scriptures Practice of the six essential daily duties Propagation of the teachings of the omniscient Fervent affection for one's brethren following the same path Topic: Panch Kalyanaka. Five auspicious events called Pansa Kalyanaka marks the life of every Tirthankara. Garbha Kalyanaka, conception, when Atman, soul of a Tirthankara comes into his mother's womb. Janma Kalyanaka, birth, birth of a Tirthankara. Indra performs a ceremonial bath on Tirthankara on Mount Meru. Tapa Kalyanaka renunciation, when a Tirthankara renounces all worldly possessions and become an ascetic. Jnana Kalyanaka, the event when a Tirthankara attains Kevalajnana infinite knowledge. A samavasarana divine preaching hall is erected from where he delivers sermons and restores sangha after that. Nirvana Kalyanaka liberation when a tirthankara leaves his mortal body it is known as nirvana. It is followed by the final liberation moksha. Their souls dwells in sadashila after that. Topic Samavasarana. After attaining Kevalajnana, a Tirthankara preaches the path to liberation in the Samavasarana. According to Jain texts, the heavenly pavilion is erected by devas, heavenly beings, where devas, humans, and animals assemble to hear the Tirthankara. A Tirthankara's speech is heard by all humans and animals in their own language. It is believed that during this speech, there is no unhappiness for miles around the site. Tirthankaras of present cosmic age Jainism postulates that time has no beginning or end. It moves like the wheel of a cart. The wheel of time is divided in two halves, Utsarpini ascending half cycle and Avasarpini descending half cycle. Twenty-four Tirthankaras are born in each half of this cycle. In Jain tradition the Tirthankaras were royal in their final lives, and Jain texts record details of their previous lives. Their clan and families are also among those recorded in very early, or legendary, Hindu history. Jain canons state that Rishabhanatha, the first Tirthankara, founded the Ikshvaku dynasty, from which 21 other Tirthankaras also rose over time. Two Tirthankaras, Munasuvrata, the 20th, and Naminatha, the 22nd, belonged to the Harivamsa dynasty. In Jain tradition, the 20 Tirthankaras attained moksha on Mount Shikarji, in the present Indian state of Jharkhand. 
Rishabhanatha attained nirvana on Mount Kailash, presently located in Tibet, close to Indian border, Vasapajya at Champapuri in North Bengal, Naminatha on Mount Gurner, Gujarat, and Mahavira, the last Tirthankara, at Pawapuri, near modern Patna. Twenty-one of the Tirthankaras are said to have attained moksha in the Kayatsarga standing meditation posture, while Rishabhanatha, Naminatha and Mahavira are said to have attained moksha in the Padmasana lotus position. <laughs> List of the twenty-four Tirthankaras Topic: Present cosmic age. In chronological order, the names, emblems, and colors of the 24 Tirthankaras of this age are mentioned below. Danusa means bow, Hatha means hands, and one purva equals 8,400,000 by 8,400,000 or 70 trillion 560 billion years. Topic: <laughs> Next cosmic age. The 24 Tirthankaras of the present age, Avasarpini, are the ones listed above. The names of the next 24, which will be born in Utsarpini age are as follows. Mentioned in the parentheses as one of the previous human birth of that soul. Padmanabha, King Shrenaka. Surdev, Mahavira's uncle Supershva. Supershva, King Konik's son King Udayan. Svamprab, the ascetic Patil. Sarvanubhuti Srivaka Dridayuda Devshruti Kartik Shrishti Udainath Shravak Shamka Petalputra Shravak Ananda Patil Shravak Sunan Shatak Sharavak Shatak Munavrat Krishna's mother Devaki Amam Krishna Shrinashkashe Satyaki Rudra also Satyaki of Mahabharata Nishpalak Krishna's brother Balbhadra also known as Balarama Nirmam Shravaka Sulsa Chitragupta Krishna's brother's mother Rahini Devi Samadhinat Rivati Gathapatni Samvarnath Sharavak Shatilak Yashodar Rishi Dwipayan Vijay Karna of Mahabharata Malyadev Nirgrantha Putra or Malanarada Devachandra Shravak Amba Anantvriya Shravak Amar Shribadrakar Shanak Topic Iconography A Tirthankara is represented either seated in lotus position Padmasana or standing in the meditation in Kadgasana Kayatsarga posture. Usually they are depicted seated with their legs crossed in front, the toes of one foot resting close upon the knee of the other, and the right hand lying over the left in the lap. Tirthanakar idols look similar and are differentiated on the basis of symbol or emblem lanchana belonging to each Tirthanakar except Parshvanatha. Statues of Parshvanath have snake crown on head. The first Tirthankara Rishabha can be identified with locks of hair falling on his shoulders. Sometimes Supershvanath is shown with small snake hood. The symbols are marked in center or in the corner of the pedestal of statue. Both sects of Jainism Digambara and Svetambara have different depiction of idols. 
Digambara images are naked without any beautification whereas Svetambara ones are clothed and decorated with temporary ornaments. The images are often marked with Shravasta on the chest and Talaka on forehead. Shravasta is one of the Ashtamangala auspicious symbol. It can look somewhat like a fleur-de-lis, an endless knot, a flower or diamond-shaped symbol. In other religions The first Tirthankara, Rishabhanatha is mentioned in Hindu texts like the Rigveda, Vishnupurana and Bhagwata Purana. The Yajurveda mentions the name of three Tirthankaras Rishabha, Ajitnatha and Aristanemi. The Bhagavata Purana includes legends about the Tirthankaras of Jainism particularly Rishabha. Yoga Vasishta, Chapter 15, Sloka 8 The saying of Rama I am not Rama. I have no desire for material things. Like Jina I want to establish peace within myself. Champat Rai Jain, a 20th century Jain writer, claimed that the four and twenty elders mentioned in the Book of Revelation the final book of the Christian Bible are 24 Tirthankaras. Gallery See also Mythological data of Tirthankara God in Jainism Tattva Jainism Samandar Swami Kundakunda Kunda.